Advanced technology of Toric IOL's implantation using a complex of modern diagnostic and operating systems. Modern approaches to cataract surgery are based on the capability of standardizing each surgical step using computer technology. Such units as integrated anterior segment optical coherence tomograph, video microscope and femtosecond laser are applied in Lensix laser in order to carry out image-guided cataract surgery. These real-time images made via ear video microscope and optical coherence tomograph, OCT, help the surgeon to align the patient's eye with the system during docking. After that, laser treatment patterns are imposed onto the high-resolution video and OCT images. Varian image guidance system creates the necessary conditions for precise performance of corneal incisions. Capsular excess carried out using marker L integrated into lens X femtosecond laser. The disadvantages of manual procedure of corneal meridians marking are as follows. Eyeball cyclotorsion and cyclorotation, the absence of a computed control system, patient's restlessness, absence of pronounced anatomic landmarks, and the surgeon's hand tremor. Varian Image Guide System allows aligning the operative image of the eyeball's interior segment with the perioptive one and establish precisely the required corneal strong meridian for the toric intraocular lens IOL implantation. Nevertheless, clinical changes, hemorrhages and conjunctival chemosis caused by long-term vacuum application appear on the eyeball surface after docking during femtosecond laser surgery step, which complicate patient's registration in variant image guidance system after the femtosecond laser surgery step. We suggest using corneal incisions made by the femtosecond laser as a landmark of corneal made meridian. In the presence of expanded hemorrhages caused by prior docking, Comparison of photo images made before and after docking in many cases may not serve as a defining moment for correct IOL localization. A 65-year-old patient was referred to our clinic for evaluation of cataract in the right eye. Corneal curvature parameter of the right eye was measured via Varian Image Guidance System. Location of strong meridian axis was taken into consideration during planning of corneal incision sites. The steep meridian was 44.95, axis 35 degrees. The amount of astigmatism was 1.65 diopters. Implementation of Toric IOL, Acrosoft Toric IQ plus 19.0 SN683 was recommended. Conjunctival vessel was used as a landmark for precise comparison of two photo images. The main corneal incision was located at 135 degrees and two auxiliary incisions were located at 35 and 215 degrees. Fragmentation of the nucleus of lens was unremarkable. A standardized lens softening pattern, quadrant grid size, was used. Corneal incisions were made in pre-selected areas conforming to the corneal strong meridian. After completion of the entire laser emission procedure, the vacuum surface was removed and the patient was transported to a day surgery operating room. The laser step of the surgery accomplished with Varian Image Guide System and Femtosecond Laser was followed by the next surgery steps performed using a modern ophthalmological equipment complex. The nucleus was then separated along the femtosecond cleavage planes and aspirated with the FACO emulsification probe. FACO emulsification was performed using FACO chop technique.
The lens masses are aspirated using bimanual aspiration irrigation system. Implantation of IOL Alcon is carried out using AutoCert IOL automated injector. On the first post-operative day, the uncorrected visual acuity was 20 over 30. Thus, registration incisions of the cornea performed using a femtosecond laser and the Varian navigation system allows accurate identification of the main meridians of the cornea and set toric IOL. This avoids error in comparison of photo images made before and after docking in the Varian image guide system following the laser step of the surgery.